Good afternoon. It's Nick again. Thanks for coming back to my channel. This is day four, and um, I feel all right. I uh, had originally tapered back in November down to about 10 grams per day. And that's really when I had all the bad withdrawal uh, symptoms. They were pretty painful. So the main things for me was anxiety. I had a lot of panic attacks when I was tapering. I had bad depression, like actual depression that I've never felt before. I, um, what else? I had hot and colds. I knew I needed to quit. It was before November. My parents had came in October to visit me. And uh, at that time, I ran out of Kratom. It was a weekend. And essentially, I thought, you know, I'll just wait till tomorrow to go get some more. Because my parents were visiting me. Well, it turns out I started to have flu symptoms. I was really agitated and angry, and I snapped a couple times. Um, so I figured, you know, with, with what I was experiencing that it was probably Kratom, because I didn't have any that day. So I had to go out and buy more uh, to keep, you know, I guess I, I didn't really know what to do at that point. I did more research and then I started the tapering process and that process was pretty much hell. I had started a new job at the time. Uh, I was doing training, so I had to do like presentations with new coworkers. <laughs> and um, it was just, it was hard to bear, but I'm also grateful about the timing at the same time because if I was just, in the middle of working a job, it might've been harder to wrap my mind around how I could go about quitting. Training was easier because I wasn't held to any standard. You know, it's a new job. Everybody knows that you're new. You're not expecting to do very much, at least for a few weeks or a month or two, right? So, so I had that going for me, but I uh, went through a lot of anxiety, depression. I did get the runny nose, as they say. Now I'm on day four of just cold turkey. So I, um, four days ago, I decided to drop it completely. And I feel okay today. You know, it's, it's not that bad. I was at about 10 grams per day four days ago. Actually, the last day I took 15 for some reason because it's never enough with Kratom. Um, I, I just, I'm happy with my progress so far. I feel okay. It's not that bad. You just got to put your mind to it, you know? What, what, are you, what are you holding on to? It's just a substance. It's a negative substance, or that's how it impacted my life, at least. I know some people can be responsible and just take a, a couple grams per day or whatever it may be and never never get addicted, never have a dependency upon it. But for me, that's not the way it was. So, you know, if, if you're thinking about quitting Kratom, just do it. Get down to a reasonable amount though, because when I was up in the higher amounts, I mean, you can't just drop it completely. That's just depriving your mind of oxygen, basically, because you're that dependent upon it. So get down to about 10, 10 grams, do the jump. It's not, not horrible, at least for me, it's not so far. And it's day four. You know, the first day was a little rough, it was groggy, but I haven't experienced anything that I experienced when I tapered at first yet. It could change and I'll keep updates coming, but you don't want to be relying on a substance in order to, to live your day, right? It's, it's ridiculous. You don't want to be worried about where, uh, where your Kratom is when you're out to lunch with somebody or out to dinner. <laughs> um, 
I would just keep going, listen to some good music. What I'm gonna be doing is more videos, starting with the Kratom videos that I'm gonna offer, but I'm gonna offer some, some better content as well as time moves on. Some tips on what's helped me think about life differently and get uh, and have quite a bit of success at a young age. And some people need that, you know? We all need it. We all need help sometimes, a hand up. And I think YouTube's a good place for that, that type of content. So that's gonna be my channel. If you're interested in self-help, self-discipline type videos, I'm always interested to talk to other people about that type of stuff. So reach out to me and we can connect. Thanks for watching. And I'll come back next, maybe tomorrow with another video. Talk to you soon.